Let's come over to see Andy, um, who's been uh, one of my major inspirations in this whole process of uh, understanding more about what food forests are and what their potential are. But what have you got going? This is, um, I'm, you know, I just look at the volume. What are the numbers in these trays? How many in each tray? About 100 in that, in that one and about 90 in that one. And what have you got in them? A huge variety of different stuff from sunflowers to Siberian pea scrub to wax myrtle to Sichuan pepper and uh, Chinese okra, um, Chinese rhubarb, uh, Nepal rhubarb, uh, really a lot of stuff. I guess 20 different uh, things are growing here now from seeds. And and. I, you were looking that way when you were naming them, but did you cover all these as well? Yeah, or is yeah, it, yeah. And have you got a lot of one thing and, and just a few of some others? Well, mostly one or two rows of one thing. Yeah. And um, that's the most seeds I have to, to germinate this year. Um, I try to raise 300 plants from seed this year, and that's the most of them. You've got the essential elements of, of a food forest there, yeah. right? More or less, yeah. More Climbers. or less. <laughs> yeah. And, and so what kind of area would that populate in terms of, of a, a thoughtfully designed food forest? Mm, we have more than six or eight carnivore trees that are probably fit in one cluster, but all the other things would all fit in one cluster. A cluster of 700 square meters. Yep. Yeah. Nice. So there you go. That is the makings of a 700 square meter food forest. <laughs> right? You know, sure, a few things missing, but, you yes, know, the, the essence of it. Um, Essential in, things like nitrogen fixer are here. Right. Right. So you'd start with that after your ground cover was in. Once the ground cover was, was in, then you've got this to plant into it. Yeah. And the ground cover is well established. You can just put everything else at the same time in to fill it up. Yeah. Yeah. So then within a few years, um, even the first year, you're getting some yield of the smaller plants and some yep. of those annuals. In the second year, then you're looking at maybe some of the berries coming through a little bit. Yep. If you invest enough uh, money for your canopy trees, say something like... 40 or 50 dollars you get five to six year old trees from a nursery and that means they are already in the age of bearing fruit that means you get first year uh, a yield from your canopy trees nuts fruits whatever you have it's just a matter of how much money do you invest in your trees if you invest a little bit more than just 50 dollars then you get probably 10 kilo yield in the first year. Okay. Thank you so much, Andy. Um, that's incredibly um, inspiring. And um, yeah, just to be able to see what can be done in a windowsill <laughs> by somebody with some knowledge. <laughs>